How's it? Today we are going to make a chasing game. So you're gonna have a sprite, chase uh, another character, and there might be an evil character trying to swallow or get your other sprite. And if you don't want to use the cat, you can go ahead and hit choose sprite and go click here and choose a different sprite uh, that you can um, have chase after. But I'm gonna use the cat just as a default. Hopefully you can be creative and choose something else. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to for first of all in our events when you click the flag the green flag right then what's going to happen well we're going to have something uh forever okay happen and basically we're going to try to make the cat or sprite go left right up and down and to do that okay we're going to do an if then statement Okay, so we're going to do an if then statement and we're going to have um, actually four of these okay, to go up, down, left, right. So if, and let's go ahead and put motion, okay, if the key, let's see, there, change by x, okay, remember x, like in geometry, x and your y coordinates, so we're going to first, if the right arrow is um, chose so go ahead and go to sensing okay and then go to key I'm going to put that on top of that right in if then here okay and now we're ready to drag in our change X so we're going to do right arrow so when our right arrow is pressed change X number X is this by 10 okay and then uh, we are going to again go if then statement because if we want to go back okay um, so maybe right arrow is pressed so then we're going to change um, this one the other way go ahead and click on this one we're going to save this other one for our, our y coordinate we're going to hit c and v to copy that and then we're gonna click on that. And now we're gonna change this to left arrow. And we're gonna choose this negative 10. So that it goes backwards, negative 10 on the graph. Now this one that we're gonna use uh, is gonna be for our um, Y coordinates. So we're gonna go ahead and do our motion. I'm gonna go find Y, change by Y. So we're gonna set that in there. And then we're gonna go into sensing and when the key is pressed right there and we're going to go up arrow it goes up by 10 and then click on this command c command v click that right in there and then we're going to choose the down arrow and negative 10. okay so now we have our x and our y we're going to snap those together and we want all of this to happen forever without limitations now when we click on our green flag we can go up down around if you want them to go faster or slower you can just change those numbers and to get um yeah better or faster. all right so now we can move okay but we have to chase after something right we have to catch something um so we're gonna go ahead and add a sprite um i like basketball it's my favorite sport so i'm gonna have him go around or if you're a monkey you could chase after bananas that's that'd be fun let's go ahead and choose bananas cats don't eat bananas but today they will um okay so for my banana we're going to have when he catches it it's going to move around the screen so he can um find it so again what we always start out with is our let's see our events and our when this is clicked okay and then we need our forever um, which is in control and we choose forever here and again we're going to use an if then statement which is in right here in control and then we're going to choose sensing and we're going to say if touching okay touching and drop that in in the event and we're going to do sprite one so when sprite one which is the cat okay 
touches the banana. Hopefully you have a monkey or something that eats bananas. Um, then what's going to happen? Okay, well, we could do a sound. So let's say we like a, a sound. So we could do bite, like he's going to bite into uh, or chomp or whatever you want to do. Okay, and then after he chomps the banana, we want the uh, that banana to go to a different place on the screen. Okay, so we're going to do go to random position. Okay, and put that right below there. And now we're done with our if statement. So we're going to drop that right in there. And now if we play this, boom, it makes this sound. Okay, and then it goes into a random position. Okay, I'm going to stop this and try it one more time. See, there it goes, there it goes, and that's fine. Maybe we can do that all day, but it's too easy. Let's go ahead and put a character that's going to try to chase after this cat while I'm chasing the banana. Okay, so I'm going to add a new sprite. What would chase a cat? Hmm, what would chase a cat? Let's go after this. Uh, dinosaur three here let's just be creative and see if this prehistoric beast will catch the cat okay so once we do that um we're gonna i'm sure you can guess it we are gonna go into events and choose when this is clicked and then we're gonna choose yep you guessed it forever and then go into our motion and then we're going to choose point towards okay and because we want there we go point towards we want the this sprite to point towards sprite one which was our cat we want them to go towards him or her and uh, how many steps move I'm going to put two steps if you want to be more challenging increase the steps right uh, or you can go up to three or four you can make it really hard five well, um, I want to do my size down to like 50 let's shrink them there we go <laughs> let's shrink them down to 50 and uh, this banana if you want to make that a little bit harder and more realistic you know you could change the size of that okay so we can go off that now let's get a scoreboard going on so that way when uh, he catches something uh, we can see a score to see if he wins or loses or whatnot okay so let's go ahead and we'll click on the banana and right here okay and we're gonna do a scoreboard so we're gonna go to variables okay and we're going to do make a variable i'm going to call this score okay and for all sprites okay and i'm going to stop this because it's very distracting okay so we made a variable called score and we're going to set the score i'm going to drop this right up here on the banana i'm going to call this score so set the score to zero okay but if it if i get the banana i get a point right so i'm going to change my variable my score okay by one point okay but if this pterodactyl hits me i'm going to lose a point so then i need to if he hits me down here set the scores score i have to start back to zero now with the pterodactyl we need an if statement so if he touches your sprite one what happens so we're going to go into control we're going to go to if then i'm going to snap that right on to here and then we're going to go into sensing and touching and then drop that right into here so if he touches sprite one then what happens well then we're going to set the score to zero and you have to start all over so set 
a variable which is score to zero, okay? And we also need to make sure, you click on sprite one, we also need to do a set score to zero when clicked here. So go ahead and drag that in there. So we have that, and we have here, and we have our enemy. So let's spread them out, and let's play the game, and let's go. Got it, got it, I got two points. I got three, uh, oh, so he touched me, I'm back to zero. And have fun with that, with your sprites, and I'll see you next time.